it's important to understand some basic terms when trying to visualize the Six Sigma management methodology. Let's start with the term sigma. Sigma is the 18th letter in the Greek alphabet and is used to represent a statistical term called standard deviation. Standard deviation can be defined as the spread of a process performance and its dispersion with respect to a centered average value of all measured points. At this time, we're not going to get too deep into how standard deviation is calculated, but we'll come back to it when reviewing the statistical tools. When we refer to the word six, it relates to the sigma level. It represents the equally spaced sigma intervals between the customer specification limits, lower and upper, and the average centered value, or mean of the process. So why six? As the number of equally spaced sigma intervals increases, the further apart the characteristic of the process is from the allowable limit. Therefore, the greater the assurance that the product is meeting customer specifications and that the variations due to infinite causes, like machine errors, measurement errors, and so on, are still producing close to a defect-free product. We hear about one sigma, three sigma, and now six sigma process performance. Here is a statistical graphical representation that describes quantitatively how a process is performing with respect to its upper USL and its lower LSL specification limits. It can be expressed as either yield, the percentage of a process that is free of defects, as the allowable number of defects per million opportunities, DPMO, or as process capability, CP. There are process sigma conversion tables that have been developed to be able to select the nearest sigma level based on the DPMO calculated. Typically, we can see that under any control process performance distribution, independently of its nature, manufacturing processes, delivering services, or processing of transactions, it can be represented mathematically on a bell-shaped distribution. This is also called a normal distribution, where the spread of the process results is shown within the curve. A normal distribution curve can also be defined as a probability curve, where the repeatable value is in the middle and other provable values tail off symmetrically to the left and to the right of the curve. We can use the amount of toppings on pizza, number of pepperonis, amount of cheese, and so on as an example. If we put too little or too much, it may lead to customer dissatisfaction. But there is a little acceptable variation within specification limits that maintains the normal distribution of the process without producing a rejection or a defect that would result in complaints and potential loss of customers. A normal distribution curve is heavily used in Six Sigma, but there are other types of distributions that are also commonly used. These include binomial, Poisson, chi-square, and students' T and F distribution. 